Hey everyone, I wanted to show how to install a tool we've been using quite a bit lately called Zerobin. This is a handy little tool where you can send someone an encrypted link uh, to a paste, say a password that you've saved or a bit of code that you want to send and uh, the server has actually zero knowledge of what you've stored. So let's see how to go. We have in front of us a nice clean CentOS 7 minimal install running on a virtual machine. So let's get started. First we're going to install all the dependencies and to do that we're going to type yum install dash y just to bypass all the prompts and we want uh, Apache first so let's type uh, httpd and then we're going to want php and the php multi byte string then we want uh, the php fr uh, pair framework and lastly this uh, this distribution does not seem to come with uh, the firewall, so let's just add firewall D as well. Awesome, so our install is done. Let's just clear the screen, then we can carry on. Now that we have our dependencies installed, we need to edit the PHP any file to reflect our server's time zone. To do that, we can use the we get the file in Etsy php.ini. Now since this is quite a big file, finding the line we're looking for can take a while, so we're going to use the search command rather and just type time zone. Now we get to our date time zone line, we press I to insert take up a comment and since we're in Johannesburg I'm going to change mine to Africa Johannesburg once we've done that we just press escape colon WQ and exit okay so the next thing we want to do is make a directory for our zero button to sit in to do this let's type make dir var www html and we're going to make our directory paste now to actually download the, uh, the application i want to use wget unfortunately i forgot to install wget earlier so let's quickly install it now Okay, so now that's done, we can use wget to actually go and download the application. So we just type wget, we'll copy the link in there, use our dash uppercase o command, and choose we're going to put the file. So we're going to put it in var www html paste. Okay, so now let's navigate to our new folder. So we go cd var www html paste. So now let's go and see if the file is there. We go ls and there's our tar file. So let's go and unzip it. To do this, we're going to use our tar command and we're going to type zx yeah, 0.22.tar. So now if we uh, do a list command again, we see our uh, compressed file and a new directory called Zerobin. So let's go into this and let's move everything up a directory. So to do that, we type nv, choose everything, and we want to move it up a level. So now if we do our ls in here, it should be empty. So let's go up a level. If we do our list command again, now we see all our new files. So let's just do a bit of house cleaning and get rid of our 
is a file that you've downloaded. And let's delete the, uh, the other folder that we don't need anymore. Okay, so now we should just have the necessary files left over. Before we continue, we need two new folders. The data directory to actually go and store our pastes, and the temp directory. So, let's type and make dir data and temp. Yes, yeah, so now that we've done this, we need to change the ownership of all these uh, new files and new folders. So to do that, we use our cho dash dash r for recursive. We're going to make it Apache. Yes, yeah, so now we've done a nice bit of configuring. Let's just clear our screen just to start with a blank page. The next step is to see if our SE Linux is enforcing. To see this, let's type get enforce. We see that yes, it is enforcing. So to allow Apache to access all the files and folders that it currently has access to, let's type set setrl p httpd underscore unified. One. Okay, so let's go and start Apache. And let's enable it to auto start with the server. So, next up is our firewall. So, let's just go and start it. And enable it to auto start. So now, if we have our firewall running, let's add an exception for HTTPS. And to do this, we're going to use our firewall command. And let's make it permanent. Let's do the same thing for HTTPS in case we want to use it later. And let's just reload. Awesome. So let's go and test if this has worked. Alright, so time to test. Here we see our default Apache landing page. To test our zero bin, let's type forward slash paste. And we get our zero bin page, which is awesome. So let's do a quick test and make sure all our permissions and everything is functioning properly. So let's do burn off the reading. Okay, so now we can copy this URL that we get. Let's paste it in the top. And here we see our paste. But remember, we did uh, burn after reading, so if we refresh, it doesn't exist anymore. Which means everything is functioning perfectly. Personally, I'm not a, a huge fan of the light theme. I work quite a bit in the evening, so I want something a bit darker that doesn't hurt my eyes as much. Fortunately, it does come with a few pre-configured themes. So, let's go and change it. To do this, let's go into our config directory, so type cd, cfg. And in there we have a sample config file that we can use. So let's just copy this. And let's go and edit it. So let's go and look for the line where it says bootstrap. So we have a question again. I'm going to change it to the dark one. Also, I prefer the send button on the left instead of the right, so I'm just going to make a page as well and go to the old layout. 
Let's press C. escape colon wq and let's go and test it. Now we see our awesome dark interface with our send button easily located on the left here. Great, so it's been a very quick tutorial on getting Zerobin set up and um, now we can use it to go and send all our secret communicators. Have fun, cheers, thanks for watching.